Villa. And we take a look at the New Jersey rules. Dave, what do we have in store here? Several key ones. The three knockdown rules in effect. The standing eight count also in effect counts as a knockdown. The physician can stop the fight as opposed to the, the referees. Also, the 10-point must scoring system in effect. Three judges score the fight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. All right, you're up to date on the rules. That's Vince Phillips on the verge, they think, of a title shot. Tyrone Downs, after a several-year layoff fighting at a about 15 pounds, well, maybe 10 or 12 pounds heavier than he has before. We are into round one. It is scheduled for 10. We're delighted you joined us this evening. It will be interesting to see whether Phillips has a scouting report and knows about Downs being off and tries to start quickly himself. I'm sure they're aware of the layoff. We'll just see how much, uh, how much more quickly Phillips might start. There's the hook of Vince Phillips. It's a good one. You saw it in his last fight against Harold Brazier here on ESPN, a sparkling performance, which he won a decision over Brazier and really looked very good, especially toward the end of that fight. It was a win that put him over the top in a lot of people's minds. Brazier, incredible foe and really somebody who extended Phillips and made him be more versatile. Phillips is 28 years old. He boxed in the Army and then turned pro and had to, a bout with drugs, but uh, has overcome that and has gotten back into uh, top form. Was halfway through round one. Both fighters still measuring, not exactly accurate so far. Jabbed by Phillips just going over the top and coming up a little bit short. We'll be seeing him try to adjust throughout the fight to get his distance down. There's a hook by Phillips getting in. Dave said he's trying to measure downs with his jab. And also not to gamble too much. You might see an opening in the first round, but if it's not perfect, a fighter might sit there and wait put it in his pocket, get the opening again, and really capitalize. Still for a minute left to go in round one, a round in which Tyrone down is getting through it at least, and uh, when you come off for a couple year layoff, you want to get through those early rounds. Again, the hook by Phillips, he has power in it. Downs already acknowledges with a shake of the head, He's been retreating. Downs has not been able to get any type of leverage into any of his shots here as he studies the situation. Half a minute left to go in round one. Scheduled for 10. The Phillips jab going out there, and Tyrone Downs, as Dave mentioned, not able to get too much offense going here in round one. He has what I think accurately can be described as Art Deco trunks on. Give him some style point awards. Yeah. He just slipped on this ring. His shoes look a little slippery, Tyrone Downs. He hopes he'll gain his footing and uh, gain an advantage as this fight goes on. We'll be back for round two. Stay with us. Phillips coming out for round two in this battle of junior welterweights. His opponent, Tyrone Downs, who starts out by whacking him with a couple left hooks. Downs, the 32-year-old, who was formerly a junior lightweight, has stepped up to junior welterweight. How tentative was that first round for Vince Phillips? I was just randomly counting and discovered that he was six for 42 in the jam department <laughs> in the first round. You were randomly counting. Those numbers didn't come from punch profile, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> they confirmed what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I didn't know you were such a computer for a mind, Dave. I'm impressed. Phillips trying to get that left hook in. He's trying to set it up with the jab and then move around with it. Downs has been cagey as far as survival so far. He lands a couple shots and then he's off on a different angle. And they want Vince Phillips, Kenny Adams told him in the corner to, to try and attack him, not just straight on, but from different angles. There's the right hand. And boy, that right hand played havoc with Harold Brazier. It landed a number of times against him. And landing anything against Harold is not easy. Dave Downs is showing himself to be a canny veteran, though. He can survive in this fight for a little while, the way he's been doing it, not taking too many chances, and 
Right now, he's got a bit of a survivor's mentality. He wants to get through these early rounds and try to get a feel for what's going on. Of course, he's been away, and he knows he's in with somebody who has a pretty good puncher's reputation. That right hand may have stunned down. Phillips landed a good one there a moment ago. And it may make Downs a little more tentative throughout the fight because it came right after Downs missed the mark with the left hand. Downs gets his own right in, but Phillips responds. So far, Vince Phillips has not gone to the body too much. Sneaky right gets in, and Downs shakes his head. And that body shot is there for him with the way the hands are held up by Downs. Tyrone Downs smacking it with a slapping left hook, but getting in. And he made Vince Phillips a little bit mad there. Phillips went to the body without leaning forward to protect himself, and his head was entirely open. Well, Tyrone Downs, though he took this fight on, I guess, less than a week's notice, uh, said he was training and was in shape and expecting another fight, I think, on the, the later this month. He thought he'd be fighting again in two weeks, so he really was giving it an honest preparation. Only seconds remain in round two, a round in which Tyrone Downs showed some life, whether he wanted some other question, but he did land his share of punches. <laughs> They'll have a lot to say, I think, uh, Kenny Adams will in Vince Phillips' corner. Let's listen in. Not a bad round, but the point I want you to think about again is when when he starts in this combination, you block Perry and you catch. Then after you block Perry and you catch, then I want you to come back with your combo, okay? You got to dig more to this body. I want you to step a little bit to the right. I want you to drop the right hand to the body, drop the right hand to the head, pivot again and hook. You got that? Drop the right hand to the body, the right to the head, pivot and hook. Not bad, but you, hey, not bad, but you can use the jab. You can use the jab a lot more, okay? And, and, and you're standing in front of him a little bit too much. Give him a little different. Phillips does get the right hand in here, perfectly over the left hand of Downs. Downs gets his way back with a slapping left hand from a distance and then gets out of the way of a counter shot. Downs will try to frustrate his opponent throughout the fight. Let's go. We're into round three. Vince Phillips heads out to meet Tyrone Downs. They're scheduled for 10. They are junior welterweights. I think Vince Phillips ought to get his jab working faster. Even if it's not landing, start putting two or three together so he can find his own rhythm. Drive downs back a little bit and then find some room to punch. It's a very good point. There are the, the punch numbers, and you can see Vince Phillips with the edge. Boy, he's throwing a lot more, isn't he? He's throwing a lot more, and he's also pouring a lot more. And we, uh, as we have done on several occasions recently, we have Kenny Adams in the corner right now. Kenny, you, you told uh, Vince Phillips to start throwing those right hands and then coming with the hook. Why do you think that'll be open for him? Well, well primarily, I, this is something I really want him to work on, is dropping the right hand to the body and then drop it to the head and then pivot and then shoot the hook. So what he was there in a position to do his hands. Yeah. There it is there. He just, uh, he just threw the right hand but didn't pivot around. Right, he didn't. And uh, that's what he's got to do more of, and I do. And uh, you were exactly right. I wanted to throw more jab, which he's doing this round, picking the jab up and going to pick his face up. But primarily, I wanted him to get some work, and I want him to kind of do some boxing at the same time, get a good work in. All right, thanks, Kenny. All right. We will check back in with Kenny uh, a little later on, perhaps. <laughs> Halfway through round three, Vince Phillips in the blue trunks. The former Army champion boxer is an amateur. And, uh, he has done quite well for himself as a pro, 24 and 0. Against the veteran Tyrone Downs. Phillips is trying at times to lure Downs to come near him so that he can shoot with that right hand to the body. Downs trying all little, the little tricks of a veteran here to make it. Loses cool. He's throwing left hooks from weird angles, and he's not gambling. He takes a shot. He's happy to get out of there. And that can test the discipline of many fighters. Under a minute left to go in round three. Some thought this might be over very early because Downs hasn't fought for a long time, and he's coming in here on short notice, but he is 
shown that he is not totally ill-equipped to deal with Vince Phillips. And the longer he's here, the braver he should get. They exchanged left hooks there a moment ago. Tyrone Downs is not hurting Phillips, but he's landing. That was a good right hand to the head of Vince Phillips. And he's squared up there from an awkward stance, and Phillips is in a bit of an awkward shot himself. And so round three goes into the books, and uh, it is a contest. Tyrone Downs showing pretty well here for a fighter on last-minute notice. In his corner, you won the second and third rounds. You are the boss. So they feel that he won those rounds. Would Dave Montempo concur? I wouldn't have said that in his corner. <laughs> well, I actually had Phillips winning three uh, very tight rounds through here. There's the jabs that they're on so far. And Phillips throwing, uh, what, about four or five times the number of jabs. And up to 29 through three rounds, an average of 10 a round. But he still has to pick that up. And actually, proportionally, he is. You know, when you come and you're an analyst here in Top Rank Boxing, you realize we upgrade the math uh, part of that uh, <laughs> role. <laughs> you actually can divide and subtract and multiply and all those things that I can never do, Dave. So it's a perfect <laughs> complementary team. <laughs> It's been a sluggish Step out. Step out. stalk method of attack for Vince Phillips here. He's finding the downs is nowhere, then he's everywhere, and really not anxious to mix it up. Tyrone Downs fighting the kind of fight it would take for him to win. He may need to do a little bit more, but at least he's giving himself a chance to win. Staying in there long enough. I would look for Phillips, uh, of course, uh, not only jab, go to the body more, but the uppercut should be there for him at some point in this fight. And then he tries it right after you said it. It didn't quite land. It's missing a lot. There's his short little uppercut from down. Tyrone down showing us, as I said, what a canny veteran he is. He mentioned he's playing two year There is a big, a good right hand from Tyrone down. We're seeing Vince Phillips quite a little more flat-footed at times than we have in some fights. And he's not stepping with his jab. That's one reason he's been short. He's loading up. Big right hand followed by the uppercut you mentioned. And there's the jab by Phillips. You know, and there's the hook after the right hand. It didn't land. Vince is starting to put his punches together a little bit better and get a little bit closer to a big shot. Missing by about half as much as he did before. If he could get to that body, he would slow the movement of Downs and then close the distance. Tyrone Downs did once have a title shot. You saw glimpses of it against Jeff Fennick in Melbourne back in 1988. He lost, knocked out in the fifth round in his attempt to win the uh, super featherweight title, I guess that was, Rupert. That was against Fennick. Right hand gets in. A good round so far for Vince Phillips with only a half minute left to go. That right hand strays low, and he will get a warning from Robert Palmer. He was on a bad angle when he let that go, and that's why Phillips came in low with it. Good jab by Vince Phillips. So round four is in the books, and for Vince, he's got to be happy with what he did. It was an improvement for him in racing action. The NASCAR wins the cup champion. And Dallas gets a... Grazing right hand, actually better than a grazing right hand. Good short chopping punch, and Vince Phillips ties him up. So as we head into round five, approaching the halfway point of this match, I mentioned earlier, many people didn't think it would go this far. Tyrone Downs, the veteran who has not fought since 1989, and uh, stepping up in weight. But sometimes, Dave, a last minute replacement who you don't expect to do well is gonna give you a lot of trouble. That's right, there's a tendency to let up against the style and really not get motivated the same way. And this has been a sluggish performance up until now for Vince Phillips. His intensity doesn't really seem to be all the way there. He looks a little bit tired so far in the fight. He's landing punches, and he's got a good lead as far as the landed punches category goes. But the fire is not there. He's going to have to just labor through to get this one tonight. It's ironic in his last performance against Harold Brazier, Vince was as sharp as you could possibly be. Oh, my. Good left hook sends Tyrone down to the canvas. He might have heard you. Well, Vince Phillips has power in the left. He showed it there. Down up quickly, takes the mandatory eight count, and things will continue. But for how long remains to be seen. Phillips going to work on it. And he's the body shots here and the uppercuts because Downs is trying to cover the head and slow the pace of the fight. 
Vince Phillips. An off left hook by someone. Yeah, I was going to say he has found a home for that hook. And he's just trying to crank it up again, you can be sure. And he showed some nice movement there as Downs extended the hand out and Phillips moved suddenly to his right and was able to get his right hand home. He's doing things he didn't do earlier. Big power punches, you get a good view of it from Tyrone Downs' viewpoint. Downs really putting his punches together. Downs is like in an 11 foot ring right now. His movement has slowed down and he's got a long battle here. A minute left to go in round five. And Toronto with Vince Phillips has put down to the canvas for the first time in this match. Again, the hook to Phillips. And the right down is hurt again, and that body shot didn't do him any good either. That's an investment in the quick finish of this fight, even if it doesn't happen right now. But he senses the victory here, and Phillips is going for it. And there's the uppercut you mentioned earlier, Dave, becoming a factor for Phillips. Downs missing badly. He has done very little offensively this round. He's been hurt almost from the get-go. Vince Phillips is a gun now, taking aim and trying to land the big one. Downs is feigning being hurt, but that, of course, is just bravado. Just seconds remaining here in round five. And it has been a good one for Vince Phillips. We peek into Tyrone Downs' corner. Could be some concern there. Give me that sponge. Give me that sponge. No, no, don't go squeeze. Give me the sponge. Right here. Give me the ice pack. Give me the ice pack. And here is Phillips coming over the top. The right hand doing some good damage there. The left hook on a retreat. Scores the knockdown, landing it. Looks like by the temple, and that's why it was an effective shot. Wait, don't, don't lean don't, in don't with it. Don't turn up with this guy, okay? Bobby? I can't stop my kind of talk. Don't worry, don't worry. Take, take this thing. This is your round. He's, he's tired as shit, Tyrone. Use your head. Look at this. My piece is tired. Let's go. Wait, go he's up. short, Tyrone. He's short. Wide open. Keep your hands up. Move your head. Don't go to the road. We move it around six. It is scheduled for ten. Vince Phillips in the blue trunks. Tyrone Downs in the multicolored trunk. Downs was down in the fifth round. And there was, there's an example of how huge that fifth round was for Phillips. And numbers also tell a story as Phillips landed 75% of his power shots in that round, 45 of 60. So he's loading up and Downs is right in front of him now. Pep talked to Downs in his corner, you heard it, but uh, how much conviction there is with that. They feel Phillips is tired, but he certainly doesn't look tired. Oh, big right by down, but Phillips comes back and hurts him with his own right. There's not much Downs' corner can do for him now. They can't give him stamina, and they can't give him a feel for this fight. Dave, don't you think body work by Phillips, you mentioned, it would really hasten uh, Downs' demise? Yeah, it would, and I'm a little surprised he hasn't gone for it more. Probably he hasn't because the headshots were so prominent for him there in the last round, and he's headhunting more. Al Bernstein along with Dave Von Temple, who writes for the Casino Player and also AP. Fox's fine correspondence. We're happy you joined us. Good right hand by Vince Phillips. That one hurt Downs again. So now the, the weight and power of Phillips and the fact that he's a legitimate junior welterweight is starting to take hold here. Phillips looks like he's got somebody with time to burn. He's in no hurry here to finish off an opponent who is ready to go. If he really forced the issue here, he could get down down right now. And that may do it. Good right hand. Tyrone Downs down quick, but up before the count of three even. So Tyrone Downs giving it his full effort. He's been down twice, but showed no signs of wanting to stay down. Let's see if Phillips adjusts now and comes forward with some more. And Downs attacking Dave, surprisingly not retreating. Yeah, a desperate fighter will do a lot to take his one last shot. And that body shot hurt also. But we don't see combinations with Phillips here. He's trying to do it with one punch. And combinations are what we saw against Brazier. 
You have to let the hands go. Many shots may not land, but when they start to get in, so come in in combination and be very powerful. Half a minute left to go in round six. As in the fifth, Tyrone Downs hit the canvas in this round. He was hurt again there, I think, by a left hand by so Big right hand. Now he's in trouble. There's the uppercut. He could do it right here. Good oh. body work, and it's the body work that sends Tyrone Downs to the canvas for the second time here in the sixth round. Will they let it continue? It'll go on. He's got to last three more seconds here. Just barely, with the three knockdown rule in effect. I don't think they should let it go on. He went down on his own. We need five like a water bucket now. Sides on out, please. Yeah, we Hey, right. Yeah, And Phillips coming through here. The right hand perfect on the button behind the jab and down immediately went down. And he comes back and continues to go to the assault. Another good right hand shot. That one was an excellent straight right hand. Here's a second knockdown. As he continues. Now, this time, Downs will do it himself here. He's being hit on the side. These shots hurt the ribs, and he goes down and sort of takes the fair catch himself. I'm surprised they're letting it go if they do. From another angle, it's just as painful to Tyrone Downs. He takes the body shots. And they will let it go on. And, you know, the first thing they said in this corner, they said, how do you feel? He said, exhausted. But that wasn't picked up. Yeah, that's right. We heard it, but the referee wouldn't have heard it. And I think this spot will end here in the seventh. Vince Phillips going after Tyrone Downs and going after him in a big way. And in four holes, we might see Downs put up a brief flurry here in the beginning while he's fresh, and then Phillips go to the assault. Here you see the story in round six where Vince Phillips has picked up his... Those are Vince Phillips-like numbers. He normally is a very accurate puncher. I think probably he's one of the guys that has done as well as you can do in the punch profile that we've been counting for the last several years here in ESPN. And after the first three rounds, where it took us some time to get his rhythm, Phillips came on. And he did it after he cut down the distance to down, and that should be it. Tyrone Downs claiming it wasn't a knockdown. The referee says not only is it a knockdown, you're through. I've seen enough. Downs claiming he slipped. I have to confess, while he was knocked down, Tyrone Downs did recover quickly. Yeah, but I think what referee Bob Palmer didn't like is that that was the second voluntary knockdown yeah. that Downs took in such a short period of time. And it was only a matter of time after that. So Vince Phillips racks up another victory. Shows the power that uh, we know he has. And uh, Fernando Sanchez, who was supposed to be his opponent here tonight, could not get into the country because of visa problems, could still be an interesting test along the way. Here we'll see the ending of things. And Phillips, knowing he can hammer home the right hand, does it to the head and then to the body. And again, as he did in the previous round, he puts Downs on the canvas. Downs gets up and says, hey, who, me? Yeah, I don't think he slipped. I think you're, he just went down voluntarily, as you point out. We'll see. Maybe. There's a good shot to the ribs there. That's a quality punch by Vince Phillips. And, you know, Downs is probably happy he got up so quick, but he couldn't continue anymore. All right, so Vince Phillips, the winner, to give us all the details, let's go up to Michael Buffer. And one second in round number seven, the winner by TKO. He's still undefeated. His record now, 25 and 0 with 17 knockouts. Cool, Vincent Pilla. So Vince Phillips keeps rolling along toward what he hopes is a junior welterweight title. Dave Montempo will talk to him. Don't go away. The winner tonight, and he's up in the ring with another winner, Dave Montempo. Dave, take it away. Thank you, Al. Vince, uh, a slow start. Was his awkward style a problem for you in the beginning? Well, no, not really. Uh, we talked about in the dressing room, me and my trainer, Coach Ken Adams. Uh, we talked about boxing the first three rounds to see what his ability was, what his skill was, what he's capable of doing. We knew he had experience and all. And then uh, right after the third round, Coach Adams told me to get closer to him and pick it up a little more, and uh, that's what I did. Well, you really did pick it up and go to the power. What was the biggest adjustment you made after round three? Well, after I saw how he was moving the first three rounds and trying to throw haymakers and uh, then he'll move again, trying to counter off me. So 
I started uh, stepping in a little more with my body shots from going to the, the right to the body and back to the head and to the hook. My hook was there all day. And you, you certainly got him with the shots to the ribs with the right hands. Yeah, Coach Adam told me to start digging to the left, step to the right, dig to the right, and come back over with the right hand to the left hook. Okay, Kenny, a quick assessment on their performance tonight. Well, I think I thought it was good. Uh, Considered this young man had had a lot of experience, and and our key was to Philip to be the complete boxer. And I think uh, the point is that he went out and did that, used the jab, the right hand, the hook combination, slip, block, and parry, and that's the key to him uh, getting to be a, a better fighter who is prepared to fight the winner of Pineda and Whitaker. Okay, we'll see how that comes off. Thank you, Kenny. Now we'll take it back down to Al. All right, Kenny Adams, not an easy man to please, but Vince Phillips did it. Coming up, welterweights, Bill Mastrangelo and Marco DiGiovanni.